He was back again with the book of Bereshith, the book of Genesis. At the end of chapter 8, it says, uh, As long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat and winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. And Elohim Barak Noah and his sons, and said to them, Bear fruit and increase and fill the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you is on every beast of the earth, on every be on every bird of the Shamayim, on all that creeps on the ground, and on all the fish of the sea, into your hand they have been given. Every morning, I mean, every moving creature that lives is food for you. I have given you all as the green plants, but do not eat flesh with its life, its blood, but only your blood for your lives I require. From the hand of every beast I require, and from the hand of man, from the hand of every man's brother, I require the life of man, whomever, whoever sheds a man's blood by man, his blood is shed. For the in the image of Elohim has he made man, as for you bear fruit and increase, bring forth teemingly in the earth and increase in it. And Elohim spoke to Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I see, I establish my covenant with you, and with your seed after you, and with every living creature that is with you, of the birds, of the cattle. And of every beast of the earth with you, of all that go out of the ark, every beast of the earth, and I shall establish my covenant with you, and never again is all flesh cut off by the waters of the flood, and never again is there a flood to destroy the earth. And Elohim said, this is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all generations to come. I shall put my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. And it shall be when I bring a cloud over the earth that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud. And I shall remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And never again let the waters become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the rainbow shall be in the cloud, and I shall see it to remember the everlasting covenant between Elohim and every living creature of all the, of all flesh that is on the earth. And Elohim said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is on earth. And the sons of Noah who went out of the ark were Shem and Ham, and Yeseth, and Ham was the father of Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah, and all the earth was overspread from them. And Noah, a man of soil, began and planted a vineyard, and he drank of the wine and was drunk and became uncovered in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his brothers outside. So Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it on both their shoulders, and went backward, and covered the nakedness of their father. But their faces were turned away, and they did not see their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine, and he knew that what his younger son had done to him. And he said, Cursed is Cain, and let him become a servant of servants to his brothers. And he said, Baruch be Yahuwah, the Elohim of Shem, and let Canaan become his servant. Let Elohim enlarge Yasus. And let him dwell in tents, the tents of Shem, and let Canaan become his servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years. So all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Hey, I hope that y'all have a great day. All love and harmony. Yo, later. Hey, hey, hey.